broadcasting live from the beautiful Legacy Theater in Alpharetta, Georgia for Code Launch Atlanta 2021, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Welcome to Code Launch Atlanta 2021, broadcasting live here from the beautiful Legacy Theater at this phase, is that what this place is called? Phase Events. Phase Events out here in Alpharetta. Uh, We've already made some new friends, caught up with some old ones. Folks are starting to file into the theater. We don't want to keep these two young gentlemen too long, uh, but we just had to visit with them. Please join me in welcoming to the broadcast with 808 Wave, Abby, and Beck. How are you? Doing well. Thank you so much for having us today. We really appreciate it. Well, we're excited to learn what you're up to. Tell us about 808 Wave. How are you serving folks? Yeah, so 808 Wave is a platform where musicians can basically find recording studios in their area and book or request studio time. So initially we saw that the problem was musicians, they weren't really able to find the right studio where they can make their music and make their music career. So this is why we created the app, basically. So you're, you're both Georgia Tech uh, students right now? Yes, we're both un- fourth-year undergraduate students, CS students. So how did um, you guys connect together? Were you friends? Like, when uh, are you both musicians? Like, did you have this problem? Like, what's the genesis of the idea? So Beck's originally from Boston. Uh, before Georgia Tech, and I'm originally from Chicago. And fortunately, we were able to connect through... We lived in the same dorm freshman year, so we were able to connect that way. And we just clicked on the spot, and we just went through like six seven different ideas freshman year and we just at the end of the year we just finalized this idea we're like okay this is the one we're going to work on for like the next you know rest of our life basically <laughs> so, so were you musicians or you just felt that musicians would have this challenge yeah so we just saw like that musicians had this uh this problem we were thinking like what are some big problems and we just saw that this was an issue um but you know we're not we're not like producers or artists like per se ourselves but you know i played a couple instruments yep and Abby was an uh, executive producer for Cato on the Track, and I worked at the radio station here at Tech. And Okay, so you were a little familiar with kind of the music industry. You knew that this, this could be a problem. People told you, hey, it's hard to find studio time or I can't get the right studio for what I need. So you, people were voicing that yes. challenge to you. Yes, definitely. And then, okay, so now you have this concept. What were the first steps to kind of validate this? So the first step was to come up with like different hypotheses and to really go in the community and just talk to customers and see like if they actually have this problem. And, you know, we validated all our hypotheses and they're like, okay, yeah, I have, you know, where they were coming to us to see, okay, what can, what studios can I book? You know, what are the right engineers for me to work with? And, you know, at one point it became so much like, okay, we have to build an app to where they can do this themselves and they can, you know, see everything about that studio and then book it themselves as well. Do, so, you, do you hear the wisdom in this, what this guy's saying? I, I know people who are 55, 60 years old who skip this whole step of customer discovery, idea validation, getting some real data from the marketplace. And here are these two young men. That was your, that's the first thing you decided to do. Did you get some direction to do that or did that just come to you instinctively? Uh, We definitely got some direction. So being at Georgia Tech, there's a great startup culture at Georgia Tech that they've been developing for so many years. If you've heard of it, the CreateX program at Georgia Tech. So we went through like Startup Lab, uh, idea to prototype. And then the final stage, like that's the first summer that we did this company. Um, we actually got accepted into the accelerator that, George, that Create X had. So um, a lot of the coaches, a lot of the mentors at Georgia Tech, they really helped us uh, really get that initial customer discovery phase off the ground, which has really helped us with the foundation of our business. Now, in any of these marketplace uh, apps, it's a chicken and egg. You need to have all of the studios in there and you have to have the users in there. How did you go about kind of building out the marketplace? That's a great question. So right now we're about... 25 studios and about a thousand customers in and in the past we've held studio sessions at patchwork and we've done events at several different studios so that was our initial core base building our brand and now we're ready to launch it publicly so now um how how does the monetization who pays or do you get a piece of any transaction that occurs like what's the monetization so right now the way it works is we have a free model and a premium model on the studio side So, for example, you get premium features of the studio, how many rooms you can list, and that ranges from $50 to $200 a month. And so that's how you plan to to monetize this through the studios? 
yes, with a subscription uh, process as well. So it's a place for them to promote the studio so they can fill unused time? Yes, so we'll have advanced booking management software that they could use uh, to find and manage their clients as well. And so then the client can book the time and pay right there on the app? Yes, so like some studios, uh, they prefer to pre-screen, so they'll, they'll be able to funnel in requests, and then they'll be like, okay, we want this client or we don't want this client, and then the client can essentially pay for the booking right there. So what do you need more of right now? Uh, we don't believe there's any obstacles stopping us from going to like our next steps. Uh, right now, we're looking to build an advisory team. That's our next step. And then just building on to the more features that uh, more features that address the problems that the studios have. And then at that point, it's just about marketing and, and sales. So now, how did you kind of arrive at the price point for the studios? That's something we're still working on, but we've seen what really provides value. And we're really trying to mimic what's really going to get the best out of a studio and what they need. Because once the person books at the studio, that's that person could be a client for a long time. Exactly. A lifetime customer. So do you have an idea of what that value is worth to a studio? We just had a customer book at EOA Digital, and he was a happy returning customer. And let's just say an average booking can be anywhere between 200 to to $1,000. And you can book maybe 5, 20 times a year. Right, so that starts adding up, and if you're the, the place where that started, I hope you're getting a piece of that action. Absolutely. So are you looking for funding right now, or this thing, you're kind of bootstrapping this until you get oh, a few more clients? Uh, so currently we're looking to, before we go to like an actual seed or pre-seed or Series A round, we're looking to build a advisory team of up to five advisors, um, and then u- utilizing that leverage that we have to, to get possibly a higher valuation or more money when we do a pre-seed or seed round. Now, are you finding that that's the case? Or are you hearing that in the uh, startup ecosystem? Because there was a time where the people were trying to get funding almost immediately, and now it seems like people are trying to bootstrap and kind of get as much runway as possible before they start taking funding so they don't dilute as much. Are you finding that to be the case? Um, I think ownership has become a really big thing the last, last couple of years with startups and with startup founders, and I think that they want to have as much leverage as possible before and and have as much product market fit as well before actually going getting that funding right so then it, it's kind of more on the startup to start selling some stuff <laughs> yes go. now how good is georgia tech at teaching you how to sell it's great we have a great team of different advisors and staff at georgia tech who really nail down the process of customer discovery one of the biggest things we're working on is really trying to get that product market fit, really validate if it's a real problem and solve their needs. And then how many studios are there, I guess, in the world, right? This thing's for the world. It's not just for Atlanta or America. Uh, so according to like U.S. Census, there's roughly 1,700 to 2,000 studios, recording studios in America. Um, and then in the in the world, we estimate to be about 10,000. Uh, but that doesn't really include like home studios, right. which is another aspect to it as well. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Well, congratulations on all the success. If somebody wants to check out the site or, or app, what's the best coordinates to do that? You can find us on Instagram at, at the 808wave, and the website is 808.bio. Good stuff. All right. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a few from Code Launch Atlanta 2021.